Welcome back to the channel everybody. I'm Andre and today we are making a smoked jerk sausage. You're probably thinking what the heck are you talking about? But jerk as in jerk chicken or any of that line. I've been working on my own dry jerk spice blend for a while now and I'm very happy with what I've come up with. It tastes great smells great and I can't wait to make a sausage using this I've been I've been playing with this for quite some time I think I'm ready and uh, let's go so with any good spice blend you're going to use some good ingredients I've got boneless pork butt here where I go buy it they have boneless and they have bone in but for that few pennies more a kilo I buy the boneless just because there's no mess. I don't have to bone it out, which I can do no problem, but it saves me time. I love it. I've got some lean beef trim and I've got some pork belly trim. So with these three ingredients and this, we're gonna make some beautiful sausage today. Those guys have already been uh, dealt with so all we're going to do is take this guy because we're going to grind everything and just break it down so we can fit it into the grinder. I just I need some room first. And it's just a beautiful piece for sausage making because it's got such a great fat to lean ratio already. I could just use this on its own to make it, but I'm going to make it that much better by using the other ingredients. So I'm just cutting it, like I said, just big enough that it will fit down the, the throat of the grinder and then let the grinder do all the other work. Oh, and if you hear the bubbling in the background, that's uh, just me trying to use my time to my fullest and I'm actually making a, a batch of uh, tallow. And I will actually link the video how to make it somewhere. So there we go. We're gonna just get the grinder set up. I am gonna grind the belly trim on the finer plate because I want that, I want those fat pieces smaller than the meat pieces. And always make sure you have your plunger because you don't want your fingers going down there. So I got that done. So uh, always unplug it though. So I'm gonna just take this plate out. So we got the coarser plate in now, and we're gonna grind the beef and the, the pork. And I like to weigh my meat after I've ground it in case you lose some or whatever. That way you get a very true and accurate weight of what you actually have. And then that way you can base your spices and salt all off of that. And I am using curing salt or salt with sodium nitrite in it, which will make them pink, which is what I want because, because, because we're gonna smoke them anyways. that and I am adding a little touch of cayenne just to help because that spice isn't hot but it just tastes great there we go and the only other thing we have to weigh out is the water the other thing that I had was spring onions had them in the fridge cut them earlier because spring onions are actually used quite a bit, or there's quite a bit of them used in the actual, let's say if you're making a wet 
jerk rub. So I figured, you know what? Get them in here, add some color. It's just gonna add to the whole flavor. Now the fun part. I am gonna regrind this, but I'm gonna just give everything a quick mix first. Get that salt in there first so it can uh, do its job. Oh, it smells so good, people. The cayenne, just to kick it up a bit. And by grinding it a second time, it helps with the mixing. I don't actually have to mix it as much because a lot of the work is being done by the grinder, which is a, a good thing. Last but not least, the water. Oh, it smells so good. And as you can see, just from this little bit of mixing, that meat has been soaking up the water, which is good. It's doing what it's supposed to, because that salt is breaking down that protein, which allows the meat to actually suck up extra water and create that stickiness, which is what you want, so it stays together. I'm just gonna get another bowl that I can grind into. And uh, let's get going. Got that all ground. I am just gonna mix it a little bit now just to get it to exactly where I want it. Which it's almost there. And then we're gonna stuff it. Got Old Faithful uh, put together here and uh, now we're just gonna start filling the hopper. Like always, you want to load some in and then try and squish out as much air as possible because we don't want air in the sausage. I'm not going to be able to fit it all in, but that's okay. I'll put in what I can. Fill the horn, boop. The casings I've had out, they've been soaking for about an hour, which is good. And find the end is always the fun part. Now by putting water in, you just rinse it out, but it also makes it easier to get onto the horn. And I can't do it with gloves. Tie the knot, get the casing closer, there we go, and away we go. There we go. I'm just going to get it all stuffed out and then we're going to twist them all. Stay there. And like I always do, pinch your first one, pinch your second one, and twist. And that way you get two at the same time. And there again, go about the length I want, pinch, pinch, get it going. If you're not comfortable, do them singly, but you're going to get done a lot faster. Mm -hmm. 
They're outside. The smoker is at 200, which is good. And before I get attacked by wasps, let's uh, get these things in there. Like always, spread them out so you get the full air going around all of them. And we're going to put them right on the top. Come on, Mr. Wasp. Leave me alone. There we go. Just like that. They're not touching, there's room in between each uh, stick as well, which is good. And uh, now we're gonna let it go. Like any of the sausages I cook, we're gonna cook these to an internal of 71 degrees Celsius, or it's like 160, 163 Fahrenheit. We're gonna let them go for at least 45 minutes, just let them do its thing. And then we're gonna come back and check on them. It's been 45 minutes and let's take the first look. looking good I know they still have a long way to go but they're looking fantastic can't wait I'm just gonna let them go make sure they get up to internal and then next time you see me we're gonna be inside and uh, tasting these okay just got them inside so I'm gonna just grab I'm just gonna grab two just from the middle ow ow they're hot Leave those there. First things first, we gotta cool them down. And we're gonna shock them with some uh, ice and cold water. Because we wanna stop that cooking process. I hope you guys are ready because I am. And, uh, you know what? Here. And I'm going to cut this one a long way. so good jerk sausage my god see nice and juicy you got that uh, spring onion or green onion all the way through it nicely add some flavor add some color looks good winner I have a few people that I'm gonna go drop some off for sure Mm. For me, this turned out fantastic. Really juicy. That flavor is so good. It's packed with flavor. But I'm glad I added that little bit of cayenne just to give it that extra little bit of heat. The overall flavor is fantastic. Uh, this is, mm. I'm very happy with this one. Well, everybody, thanks for watching. This was the very first time I made this sausage, and it <clears throat> fantastic. Yeah, I'm extremely happy. It turned out the way I wanted it to. And I'm going to tell you, if anybody noticed, I did not put any binders in. You don't always need binders, and that's proof right here that you don't. And, uh... Have fun, eat well, thanks for watching, show some support, and happy eating.